Hello! This video tutorial presents how to create interactive music structures using WISE. Creating an interactive music score can be divided into two parts. Building an interactive music hierarchy and creating seamless transitions. This first video tutorial presents how to create music structures while the next video presents how to use the transition matrix. A common approach to interactive music is to play different music pieces based on changes to game states. Adopting the music score smoothly and coherently to these game states is a real challenge. As you will see in these tutorials, arranging music scores in WISE is really simple. WISE gives you advanced and powerful tools to implement your game scores easily. To create an interactive music score, we will use four different objects. First, we have the music segment, which contains one or more music tracks. The music segment is the core object in the interactive music hierarchy and it's the smallest complete unit of your audio. Next, we have the music playlist container. It manages the playback behaviors of the different segments it contains. The playlist container is also associated with the different states of the game. And finally, we have the music switch container, which manages the transitions between the music playlist containers and the segments they contain. Typically, your goal in creating an interactive music score is to play back segments in a random or sequence order while maintaining sample accuracy. This approach has a serious drawback, however, because when a new segment starts playing, any natural decay and reverberation tails associated with an instrument are cut. To solve this problem, WISE offers you the option to play back the natural decay of the music on top of the next playing segment. This is called the post-exit region of a segment. A pre-entry region can also be played to serve as a musical pickup prior to the first bar of a segment. You can define distinct pre-entry and post-exit sections for each segment. Let's see that now in WISE. In the Audio tab of the Project Explorer, you will notice a new section called Interactive Music Hierarchy that contains all your music objects. We will now import four audio files into the structure to create four music segments. To edit these segments, we will switch to the interactive music layout. Double-clicking on the first segment displays its properties and time settings in the property editor. You will notice that, like otherwise objects, music objects have properties such as routing, effects, volume, and low-pass filter. The time settings allow you to set the tempo and time signatures of your music. This information configures the timeline in the music segment editor and is also used for transition rules. The grid settings define arbitrary positions inside a segment that can also be used for transitions. The tempo and time signature of the four segments we created fit the default values of 4-4 at 120 beats per minute, so no changes need to be done here. Let's listen to this segment now, then we can set the entry and exit cues for each segment. To set the entry and exit cues at the right positions, we will set the timeline to bars and beats. To make sure that the entry cue is precisely at the first beat of the first bar, we will activate Snap to Bars and Beats mode. Now the entry cue can be accurately moved to the correct position in the file. Let's set the exit cue to the right position now. With the entry and exit cue set, we have defined the pre-entry, the main content, and the post-exit regions. Because the reverb tail is almost inaudible near the end of the segment, we will shorten the post-exit region by sliding the clip handle to the left. Let's now repeat this process for the second segment now. In this segment, the main content starts playing immediately. Therefore, only the exit cue needs to be moved. Let's repeat these steps for the two remaining segments. OK, now that we've correctly set up the entry and exit cues for our four segments, it's time to add them to a music playlist container that will manage their play order. To do so, select the four segments in the Project Explorer Right-click and select New Parent in the contextual menu. Then select Music Playlist Container. Name this container Fight. 
To create a music playlist, simply drag and drop the four segments from the Project Explorer to the Music Playlist Editor. Let's listen to this music playlist container now. Notice that by default, WISE plays the pre-entry and post-exit regions on top of the main segment. As you may have noticed, two play icons are displayed when either a pre-entry or post-exit region plays over the main segment. Okay, this is a pretty simple sequence. Let's create some diversity now by adding randomization. This music has been written in an A-B structure, so let's create a sequence that randomly selects an A and a B segment. To create new behaviors in a music playlist container, you can create a new group. Each group has a choice of four different behaviors. For this example, we will create two new groups under the current group. Now, we will drag and drop each A segment into the first group and each B segment into the second group. Now, let's choose a behavior we want by using one of the four options available in the drop-down menu. You can choose between sequence and random playback and between step and continuous modes. In our example, we will select random step for both groups. This behavior will randomly pick a segment in the first group before picking another in the second group. If instead you had opted for random continuous, the behavior would have selected all segments of the first group in random order before jumping to the next group. Let's hear what we have now. To create a more sophisticated playlist, simply create more groups and drag and drop the same segments into them. Looping options are also available. For now, we will keep the structure really simple, so let's undo these last operations by using Ctrl Z. This method of creating interactive music playlists by sequencing and randomizing groups of segments can be referred to as a vertical approach to music playback. We will now look at another method in which an interactive music structure uses a horizontal approach. Now, for the stealth and stress music states, we will create a horizontal music structure. A horizontal approach uses segments that are longer than what we have previously seen and contain multiple tracks. The advantage of this approach is that it allows you to modify the properties of each track using RTPCs, states, effects, and positioning. You can also route each of these tracks to different control buses or define different advanced settings for them, such as priority and voice limiting. So let's begin this time by creating a segment that we will name Stealth. To create multi-track segments, you can either create each track manually by dragging your audio files onto each of them, or you can select all of your audio files and drop them directly on the segment by holding the control key. This way, a track is automatically created for each audio file you drop into the segment. Hold the Z key and click on the track view to zoom out to see all the tracks. Note that the stealth music runs at 90 beats per minute. We will set this segment to the correct tempo. Then, we'll easily be able to set the entry and exit cues for this segment. Before you export your stems from your sequencer into WISE, you should trim them to align them to the same beginning and ending bars. This way, you can be sure the track alignment in WISE is sample accurate when you import your audio files into a segment. Let's listen to the beginning of this segment to set the correct entry cue. Before moving the entry cue, we will trim out the silence at the beginning of each track so that the segment's playback is optimized. To get a better view, hold the Z key while doing a marquee selection to zoom into the desired region. The empty space at the beginning of the segment will be played by Wise if we leave it there, so it's important to drag your clips to cover this region. 
Now we will set the entry and exit queue positions. Now that we've prepared this segment, we will integrate it into a music playlist named Stealth. This way, we will be able to loop this segment or create a playlist with other Stealth segments. Next, let's take advantage of our horizontal structure and create a RTPC curve for the volume of certain tracks only. First, we will create a new game parameter named Stealth Factor ranging from 0 to 100 in the Game Syncs tab in the Project Explorer. Now that we have our new game parameter, double click the Stealth Brass Piano and Ride track Switch to the RTPC tab in the Property Editor and assign the volume of the track to the game parameter Stealth Factor. We'll do the same for the Stealth String Melody track. Let's play this container while changing the game parameter value in real time. This shows how a multi-track segment structure allows you to affect individual track properties in real time. Effects, panning, and states can also affect tracks and be modified. The last section to look at before starting work on the transitions is the creation of a music switch container. The music switch container will be used to associate each music playlist container to a game state and to also manage the transition rules between these music playlist containers. Before creating our music switch container, we will create a third music playlist container that will be used for the stress music. That way, we will have a game where the music changes between three different game states, Stealth, Stress, and Fight. Now that we have created our three playlist containers, let's now insert them into a music switch container. Simply select them and insert them into a new parent object, the Music Switch container. Name it In-Game Music. The first thing to do after a new Music Switch container has been created is to associate which Music Playlist container will play when the different game states change. To be able to associate states with playlist objects, we need to create a new state group that will contain the three expected game states. For that, switch to the Game Syncs tab in the Project Explorer and create a new state group named In Game. Under this state group, we will create three states called Stealth, Stress, and Fight. Now that our state group has been created, we will return to the property editor of the In Game Music Switch container. Now, select the State Radio button and select the In-Game State Group in the drop-down menu. As soon as the State Group is selected, the three states appear in the Music Switch Container Association Editor. The last operation consists of associating the music playlist containers we have created to their corresponding game states. This concludes this video tutorial demonstrating how interactive music structures can be created using WISE. Be sure to view the video tutorial on how to create and manage transitions between interactive music objects to get a global understanding of one of the most important aspects of the interactive music feature